All right, so we already talked before that there are two lines that we know. Let's see, the trough here is connected with our budget constraint. Okay, which means like what the amount of money that we have could buy. And this is about before our preferences. Or we call it as there is no difference curve or indifference curve. Okay, let's say now we have money of $60. And here is the amount of burger. And this is a Coke. Okay, with $60, if the each dollar of burger cost 20, it means we can buy one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Burger with $60, right? And then one, two, three. Hmm. For Coke, for $5 of Coke, I'm afraid we need to make until 12, which is quite a lot. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No worries, we can do like this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. <laughs> and let's draw a line here. Okay, so this is our budget constraint with $60 what we could buy. Okay, $60. And then our indifference curve here, it's look like this. So what we could buy with the money that we have, our preferences is look like this. We rather to have, for example, I would like to have two burger and 12 coke <laughs> and I would not negotiate what I want as long as it's always in my indifference curve because this is what makes me happy but if not then what can I say I don't want <laughs> everyone have their own preferences this is make me even more happy. Okay, and here maybe like, oh, I'm super happy. <laughs> no matter what we have, maybe here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe here like six burger and 12 Coke. Because, hmm, why not? life only once time so why not spending it with great food okay so the question is we have to play in the line like which part that we rather to have and able to make two line this line meet so if I for example have opportunity to duplicate this okay let's say Can I duplicate it? Okay. Uh, I will try to bring it here. Yep. Awesome. And then I will try to make it big here. So, here we get the line like this. Five and six and seven eight and nine and ten eleven and twelve cook and this is our budget constraint okay with sixty dollar money that we have so if we say like okay there is one indifference curve here 
and this is meeting in this level and going like this which means like here for nine coke how much actually you can get because nine coke for example it costs uh, nine is 45 and money left is 15 so actually you got for nine coke and three or 75 percent of burger which is not make sense right and here you can get like for one coke it's supposed to be like somewhere here actually sorry let's let's remove this and the line is supposed to be more much more uh, how to call it bending so it should be like more bending like this okay this is what make you happy one and this is what make you happy too We, con we know the concept of marginal rate substitute. What does it mean? It's actually tangent EY X, which means like, what's the point that you are happy more uh, and what you're willing to sacrifice? So in this level, for example, you will get two burger. Okay. And 11 Coke. But the question is like it's beyond your budget. Why? Because two burger will cost you 40 and 11 coke will cost you 55. Whoa. So it's mean at the end you will have $105, which is beyond your, uh, which is beyond your uh, capability to buy because you only have $60. So what you have to buy? So in this level, like, or here, you actually can buy, for example, with uh, one burger here, $20, you still have another $40. In $40, you could buy, for example, here, sorry, it should be here. You could buy uh, eight Coke with one burger. But are you happy enough? Yeah, maybe yes. Here you are happy. But here, actually, you would rather to have it here. With, for example, two burger. And this two burger, uh, it's like $40. And you still have another 20. Uh, so for like two burger with four coke and it's actually make you even much happier so which one you would rather to buy you will buy at this level and here with marginal rate of substitute or it's like marginal rate of substitute in this level is two oh sorry for burger divided by two it means you just need to sacrifice two things or like two uh, how to call it to cook to get wait a second to cook to get one burger but in here the MRS is 8 divided by 1, which means 8 times, and you rather to sacrifice 8 coke for one burger. And then we try to find the MRS, the lowest one. Okay, let's remove this first. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Uh, so this is the mean like 
we try to find the marginal rate, the lowest one, because in here, for getting eight coke and one burger, you have to sacrifice a lot of coke. Some of you who like coke will not like this thing, because you would rather to still enjoy coke with burger. And here you get the highest consumer that you like. And here still on your budget, fortunately. So you will be even happy and you can buy. And this is the concept of indifference curve meet the budget constraint, which means like in your budget, which part that you could actually afford more and this make you are happy make you happy happier even okay so that's uh, the concept of the indifference curve meet with the budget constraint hope it's explained and um, yeah let's see on another course don't forget to subscribe thank you if you see it's helpful